Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Super Strategy Game, and it is Friday, so we are returning to our Fridays for Future Let's Play series of Democracy 4, a game that is just out in el uh, early alpha. And we are playing as the United States, trying to save our environment, trying to tackle uh, climate change, of course. So, yeah, let's see what, how that is going. We have been doing relatively well so far. As you can see, CO2 emissions here in the United States are going down over our term. So, these last couple of uh, dots over here. Because we've uh, reduced car, or we introduced car emission limits, we've uh, bulked up the pollution controls, we've started a reforestation program, and actually increased the clean energy subsidy. So, yeah, CO2 emissions are coming down, and that is great to see. Very happy about that. The environment is also doing much better uh, due to the car emission limits, due to the pollution controls, due, due to many of these things. Also a little bit of the recycling that we upped and the Keep the Country Tidy campaign. So all of this is very much going up and lovely. We are still running a huge deficit here and quite a couple of things are not going all too, all too, all too good in our country as you can see by these little red dots over here. So we still have antisocial behavior, we still have an alcohol abuse situation, uh, we still got hospital overcrowding largely due to the deadly virus that has just appeared. Uh, we've got obesity, we've got uh, respiratory diseases here, largely due to the effect of the environment, so hopefully that is going to come down more dramatically over time. Uh, and one thing that I particularly want to point out is the pollution over here, because that is coming down here, and that has actually gone below the stop trigger. That should mean that we can basically, uh, well, get rid of this next time around. Um, there are a couple of good and bad things about that, uh, that pollution are, is stopping. Now, the good thing is, environmentalists will not be quite as uh, screwed over, so they are going to be happy. Health is going to go up, so the negative effect is going to appear, disappear. Tourism is going to go up, but the bad thing about that is environmentalist membership is also is actually going to go down, because people are not concerned about these issues so much anymore. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a mm, give-and-take situation. We also do need to be mindful that our political capital here is not going... Uh, as high as we would like. And that is due to the fact that quite a lot of our cabinet here is not happy with us. So our cabinet ministers here are not happy. And that is primarily due to the people that they belong to and, and whose interests they reflect. So for example, this guy over here, who is actually one of our most supportive guys for now, is a religious patriot. These people, for now, actually patriots are the group that loves us the most, but this is going to come down pretty dramatically here because we have shifted military spending from 100% basically to 0%. And that will mean that currently these guys love us with plus 19 percentage points and they're going to go down to minus 33. So these people not going to be happy about us in the future. So even though this guy is currently happy with us, he, that's not going to last uh, for a very long time here. So yeah, I think there's... there's <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there's going to be some problem in the future. On the other hand, you can see our law and order minister here, April Wood, and she's doing specifically. She's doing extremely well. I mean, she's um, representing the state employees and the environmentalists. And environmentalists, of course, um, are a group that we are very, very happy to, um, yeah, work for here. So there's not going to be an issue there. So some of these people, probably a long-term problem, but not a short-term one. Long term great, short term also of course kind of okay. Some of these people, yeah, I think these people will tick down extremely quickly here over time. But there's one specific dude who I don't think is gonna be happy and, and has a place in our cabin for too long. So that is this gentleman over here, Luke Long. He's a self-employed capitalist. And both of these groups are not specifically happy about us. Capitalists we do have a lot of things going that uh, currently capitalists don't like because we are meddling in the economy over here. And that is a problem because you can see capitalists, there are a lot of them. So membership of this group in the United States, of course, is relatively high. People do believe in the free market and we are meddling with the free market. So that's not great. Uh, and the other thing is self-employed. That's a little bit so-so, but I don't think these people are ever going to be very happy on our, under our government. So I think it is time to fire this specific gentleman. We could, um, of course, reshuffle the entire cabinet, but, you know, most of these people are either not a problem yet um, or only going to be a problem in the future. So let's look at who we can get over here. So we are looking for a new foreign minister. 
And you can sort these guys by various different things. I like to sort them by political capital over here. And I think what we would like to see is, well, someone actually who wants the foreign policy job. And that would, for example, be you. You're a religious motorist. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be super happy about us. So that's a no. You do like capitalists, but you also like environmentalists. So you might actually be a good long-term uh, minister. I don't know for sure. You're not very experienced yet, but that is going to go up over time. So, you know, I think that's fine. And your campaigning is actually pretty good. So that would uh, enable us to potentially use... Why can I not select you? Okay, I do need to hire you. Okay, that's, that's a little bit weird. Why is there a different screens for that yeah but nevertheless your campaigning is good so that would mean uh, that potentially you can uh, give us more power in the future so that's nice you're gonna give us 0 0.8 more political power per uh, quarter here and that's fine you guys oh you do like trade unionists yeah trade unionists are the group that by far hates us the most and that is largely driven by the gig economy over here really this is this is really really Trade unionists hate that, so potentially, honestly, welfare. Let's have a look at who would like that for the moment. So, someone who would actually be interested in welfare. For example, you here, liberal parents. Now, well, we're actually working a lot for parents and for liberals, but this is this is kind of hard to pin down because a lot of these guys will not like us for a long term. Parents in particular are extremely difficult to place aid, so that's not great. Motorists and liberal? No, that's not great either. Um, who else is actually interested in welfare? Retired socialist. Yeah, I think for now we are gonna we are gonna keep you on board because it's just what we need to do. Right, the other thing I want to address here is it's not specifically on climate issue, but there's one further thing that we do need to deal with. I think in the law and order category over here, the antisocial behavior, as you can see, is pretty bad for us. It's, uh, well, screwing with the conservatives. They really don't like that. It's reducing tourism, so that's not great. Um, and it does have some costs. Not the greatest, but it's just not great. Um, I think it also drives crime. So, yeah, just let's try to get rid of that. Crime isn't particularly high, but you just generally want to get rid of that. And then we have got the alcohol abuse. Now, that is coming down, but ever so slowly. It's costing us quite a lot of money, actually. 18 billion US dollars per quarter and we have a deficit of 40, 54 so that would be huge to get rid of. It's also driving crime, it's uh, reducing health, it's increasing healthcare costs so really not great. We would want to get rid of that. One policy that affects both of these things is this over here. Community policing. So let's do police reform uh, and let's introduce the concept of working with the community rather than attempting to control it. It's not a green policy per se um, but I do think it is a fitting, so let's do community policing. I think it's a wonderful thing to do. It is going to cost us some money here. It's going to make the Liberals a little bit more happy. It's going to drive down crime, violent crime and racial tension. All of that is very good. It's going to increase liberalism. That is also very nice for us. Because Conservatives, yeah, don't really like us that much. So that's nice. Unemployment is going to be minorly affected. But as you can see, antisocial behaviour and alcohol abuse it's really good at tackling these things, so let's actually do that. It's not even costing us any political capital, so I think this is a very nice and easy win that we are having over here. So, from my perspective, very, very great, and uh, that should really help us tackle these issues. Now, I would like to get to tackle the obesity things a little bit as well. So let's look at the new policies that we could introduce, or do we actually have the Food Standards Agency? No, that's the Healthy Eating Campaign. What else is driving that? State health services. Free school meals. We could increase that. It would cost a little bit of money. It would reduce poverty by a lot. It would help the poor. It would help socialists. All of these people would like us. Parents would go up a little bit. Obesity wouldn't really change that much. So I would much rather like to do something that increases uh, the amount of plants that people eat instead of meat. So. That should help us with a lot of things, so that might be nice. So where do we have policies that would be positive in that regard? So organic farming doesn't quite do that, so that is a shame, but I guess that's fair enough. 
Nothing we could do in welfare except for maybe synthetic fuel grounds, but yeah, it's not really that that useful, I believe. Right. Could do a junk food, junk food tax, and that would actually increase the plant-based diets that people um, would use. It would decrease obesity. It would drive up poverty because poor people are eating a lot of junk food, I guess. Um, youth would not be happy, and everyone's income would be slightly affected. We could do the reverse, though. We could just increase the subsidies going for that. And honestly, it's not that much of a financial impact here. So that's it. Actually, that is what we're going to do. We're going to in introduce health, healthy food subsidies here. That is going to drive down obesity by a lot. It's going to increase uh, the vegetarian diet of people. Food price is going to go down as well. So that is fairly nice. And I think that's that's a perfect change here. So that's nice. 15 points left. Um, can we actually see how many points we can store? From ministers, maximum 38. Yeah, I would love to store a little bit more than that, honestly. So that would be really nice. But for now, we can't. So yeah, I guess that's fine. Transport, we could still do a little more things over here. But I think for now, we are fine. I would really, really love to uh, go for limit or ban cars in cities. But it's going to cost us 40 points and we can't even... Our government is just not effective enough at introducing that. So, yeah, there we go. You know what? Compulsory food labeling would be sort of going well with what we're doing, but it's also costing us a lot. So, probably not, probably not for now. Climate Change Adaption Fund, that is hugely important, but it's also incredibly expensive. So, I don't think that is something that we can afford at this very moment. So... Microgeneration grants, the environment would, that would be helped, energy industry would go down, CO2 emissions would go down. This is not a bad choice then. We could also do the frequent flyer tax. That would decrease air travel. It would also decrease GDP and the wealthy people. But socialists would be happy about that. Plastic bag, yeah, just doesn't have any effect. Which is actually very true. I mean, plastic bags are a problem. They're just not the worst problem. Overall, the amount of pl plastic that goes in plastic bags just isn't the biggest issue that I, that I think the environment has right now. So, honestly, let's go for the micro-generation grants. I think they're fairly fantastic. Well, it's 10 political power, so that is very expensive. Hmm. We could just go for the eco-home regulations. That's sort of the similar thing. Smart meters, also very, very useful. And it's driving up environmentalist membership. So you know what? That is what we want to do over here. This is going to take quite a while. This is going to take 16 turns as you be implemented and drive up environmentalist membership. But if we can do that, they're going to be very happy about us. And uh, we are just ever so slightly more likely to win the actual next election, which is the thing that we do need to worry about. So yeah, that's great. CCS, no for now. I don't think it's worthwhile to fund that right away. There are a lot of good things, so it's always a little bit difficult to judge which of all of these good things you want to take first. One thing that I'm slightly concerned about is the limits on automated trading. These are fairly no low for now. If we could increase that at least a little bit, that would make it ever so slightly less likely that the entire economy would collapse on us. And you know what? We do have... Um, some political power, so you know what, let's do that. It's going to cost us eight, so it's not great, but it's fine. We are three political power, I think that's that's great. We will turn it over to the next turn over here and see... <laughs> Gee, Jesus. Did I just talk about that? Here's the flash, cra flash crash. Automated trading has rendered the stock market so fragile that a single large trade has sent stocks into a sudden spiral. Economists are calling for the in immediate introduction of rules for automated trade. We just increased these rules. Anyway, our currency strength is collapsing, our GDP is collapsing by a lot, as is uh, the income of the wealthy. Not great. GDP taking a big tank down here. That's, that's, that's just, that's just not great. This is, this is a big problem. It's going to be good for the environment, but it's going to be horrible on our budget and our ability to introduce new policies to tackle the more long-term causes of climate change. So... Not a great thing. On the other hand, pollution is gone, so that's very nice at least. Unemployment skyrocketed here as... Uh, unemployment skyrocketing here as, as our GDP collapsed. So, 
Yeah, we've got pretty much peak unemployment here. That's that's just really not great. I think crime is going to increase as well, um, which is going to decrease GDP further. So that's not great. Health is slowly but surely improving, so that is very nice. But yeah, that's that's a big issue. Also, one of our big uh, donors has abandoned our party, so that's not great. But but at the very least, we are seeing a surplus here in the economy for the first time, and that is because we've reduced the spending of the military. So. That's nice, even though our relative GDP has has tanked down here. So yeah, not not great at all. This this is starting to become an issue. On the other hand, we have some political power. That's nice. Uh, the maximum is further decreasing, though. Um, that is that is unfortunate. So I would very much like to deal with the GDP situation here and um, the flash crash is not going to have extremely long-term consequences but it does have intermediate consequences. Now it will make the environment better because the GDP just for now there's going to be a, a short delay here but I do think that we're going to see the the GDP influence here um, on the environment being being very very positive and that has a chance to to tackle some of the issues that we're facing so that's nice. Antisocial behavior going down. Now, community policing, I think, is just taking some time here to become effective. That's the thing. Environmental protests. I don't think they are that bad for us because they actually increase the membership in uh, the environmentalists. So that's nice. We've still got the gig economy. That might actually drop as... Well, it's also driven by unemployment, isn't it? Yeah, so it's just going to increase. That's, that's a big issue. Uncompetitive in economy. That is that has just dropped, so that's very interesting. I don't know why it has dropped so much. Probably productivity. How did productivity develop? It went up by quite a bit, and I think that's probably. I think that's probably. Well, pollution went away, so that's nice, and I do think it's actually because of the unemployment. So the more unemployment there is, the more productive is the economy, and I think the reason for that is. People tend to be more afraid of losing their jobs when they when there's a lot of unemployment. So they want to keep uh, working and they are a little bit more productive and they put in extra hours and such so that they don't get fired. That's an interesting effect, but that is going to come down. But it's still nice to see that because we just went below the stop trigger here. It's going to increase again, but it's probably not going to go above the start trigger. So that is very important and very nice for us. Excellent. So that's that's one good news, which I'm really, really desperately looking for here in this hype of bad news. So, right. Nevertheless, uh, let's go ahead and see what else we can do to tackle some of the issues that our economy is facing over here. Electric cars initiative, all of this is, is sometimes useful, um, even though the motorists are actually, actually fond of that. So that's interesting to see. I still think it would be good to have some just very positive effects uh, so that we are doing a little bit better in, in overall terms. None of that is, is super important for now, so I think we can actually focus on... Well, let's not screw with the economy right at this moment. I think it would be better a little bit to, to do some good things in the future. Foreign relations is, is typically just a very good thing to have. So that would be nice. Public services, free eye tests. Yeah, some of these things are really great. Typically all of these things that capitalists don't like. Which I think is a little bit... I mean, it's a little bit strong, right? Even capitalists typically don't mind free, free eye tests. A lot, at least. So, yeah, human research grant. That's not what we're going to do. Education, usually very useful. Retired. I don't think we have any retired minister or any minister who's who's actively counting as retired. Obesity is interestingly coming up, and that's probably because of the unemployment boost here. And the GDP boost is, there's a lack behind that. So, yeah, it's going to take a while for that to come down. The respiratory diseases, how is tobacco usage looking? Well, it could be a little bit better, honestly. It went down because of the... 
You know what? Tobacco just looks like one of these things that we might want to tackle a little bit here in terms of our welfare. So let's introduce a tobacco awareness campaign. It's not going to be very expensive. Um, not even a billion here. And tobacco usage is going to go down. So I think that is going to have some healthy impacts here. How much can we save up? 34. So we do need to spend a little bit more here. And the question really is, on what then? We are spending... I think we have most of these policies here enacted to the degree that we want. We could tax everything a little bit more, but that would tend to have bad effects on the GDP. So I'm not too sold on that. So honestly, I think what we need to do is just introduce, start introducing more stuff over here in terms of... Do we have smart meters? Yeah, I think we have had introduced them last time around, right? So let's go with the eco home regulations here. It's going to be useful. It's going to be not that great for the energy industry because less energy is being used. But energy efficiency is going to go up. Environmentalist membership is going to go up. CO2 emissions. Environmentalists are happy, but capitalists aren't. So, yeah, I think it is some... We do need to tackle the issue of the capitalists. And, and just look at that. Trade unionists are at rock bottom. So these people might actually start to shoot us very soon. So that's interesting. Um, that trade unionists and capitalists both nearly equally haters so that's that's a big issue so i think we need to address the amount of capitalists that we've got in our country um, and one way to increase that is the socialism now we could do introduce a labor day bank holiday that would increase socialism because people are happy that they get a fr new day off but it would do so at the cost of decreasing GDP. And again, I'm, I'm not really sure that that is what we want to do exactly in this moment. So, yeah, probably, probably just, just not at the moment. I think it's fine. Let's save up on some political capital and see how things are going. So, a couple of things going well and a couple of things really aren't. So, GDP is recovering. Um, quite rapidly over here so that's nice so that dip just didn't didn't turn out to be hilariously bad um uncompetitive economy did go down it did go away so that's nice to see on the other hand we did just go above the high productivity thing because of all of the unemployment was driving that so that does make capitalists a little bit more happy that's nice it's also increasing gdp a little bit self-employed are going to be a little bit more happy. That's nice. That's very, very nice. I'm only afraid that that is going to come down and potentially below the stop trigger. Doctor Strike, these people, also due to the high unemployment, uh, is went away. But on the other hand, our credit rating has just been downgraded. And that's not nice because it's decreasing business confidence. And that's never, never a good thing. So, yeah. This shock just really, really, really messed with us here. So, yeah. Nevertheless, uh, also crime is going up due to the unemployment. Still, I think the unemployment is going to recover relatively rapidly over here. So, that's going to be noise, I think. But we should make sure uh, that it's not going to be on that level. Curiously enough, the Evangelical Alliance has a high number of members who would want to see us gone. So, that is a radicalist group um, that at some point we do need to address. Still at only 36. We do need more popularity and everything. Look at that. Capitalists are a little bit more happy than they were before. Conservatives really aren't. And and the religious people weren't. So, yeah, I think it's... Well, the religious. Do we have... Not have oh, no. They, they are over here. Yeah. They are not happy with a lot of these things. Curiously enough, we do have face school subsidies, which is going to pro providing a little bit more education, but it's also increasing the membership of the religious people. So let's actually look at what's driving membership here of the religious. So yeah, it's the face school subsidies. Space development is actually decreasing that, so that's nice. Yeah, I think overall we'd want to have these people be there a little bit less. What's uh, driving the membership on conservatives? Gated communities. Huh, that's interesting. And antisocial behavior. Now, antisocial behavior at some point is going to go away. But what about gated communities? So that is decreasing crime a little bit. It's making conservatives very happy. Uh, but it's also driving up their membership. 
And it's decreasing quality, it's decreasing the happiness of liberals, it's increasing the happiness of um, wealthy people. Question is, if we cancel that, people would potentially feel it's going to cost us a lot of political capital, but we do need to address some of these social issues uh, that we are facing. Otherwise, uh, we are just going to see that a lot of people are going to try to kill us. So, you know what, honestly... We do want to drive up liberalism at least a little bit over here. So let's cancel this. It's going to be very expensive, but it is going to drive down the membership of the Conservatives. And I'm going to be super happy and thrilled about that. So, yeah, that's, not, that's nice. Education. We could also potentially try to get that to be a little bit more in, in, into the direction of secularism. That would drive down religious membership. It would increase liberalism. It would increase our technological advantage. So let's do that. And spend most of our political capital there. So we're a little bit more focusing on social change this time around. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it is quite important. So let's look at GDP. Yeah, recovering quite nicely actually over here. Health is also going up dramatically now. So that's great to see. That's, that's perfect to see actually. Poverty actually decreasing. So that's nice. Crime. Coming back down again, that's good. Unemployment, coming back down, but not quite on the same level. So that is is an issue. Education is improving, so that's nice. And health, again, is, is improving greatly. So, nice. I do like that. There's a budget report. Uh, we were a little bit loss-making there for a moment, but we are running a surplus now. And that's great to see. Now, overall, the world economy is going down a little bit over here. That's, that's not great. Uh, but our relative GDP, at least, is, isn't is going that badly. Now, it might be that we're going to get some negative effects from all of the climate um, change policies that we've introduced. Because, obviously, some of these are not very great for the economy. Um, but, of course, that is still something that we'd want to do. I would love to get a better credit rating, because probably a lot of our expenditures at this point, yeah, our third largest point here in terms of money that we're spending is debt interest. This is more than we are spending on clean energy subsidies and all of the um, all of the climate change things combined. So we want to drive that down a little bit and it would be great if, if we could do that and not end up in a, de uh, in a debt spiral there. So that'd be fantastic. Um, let's do keep an eye on these things. They are coming down. I don't think we need to do that much more. What we could do is fund the police a little bit better. It's contagious, but the police funding at this moment is extremely low. And if we brought that up a little bit, at least the antisocial behavior, the alcohol abuse would go down. And it would reduce corruption a little bit. It's not a big problem, but still it would be nice. It would reduce crime. It would make conservatives a little bit more happy. And it would be nice to just not completely screw with them. So that's nice. It would also decrease unemployment a little bit. Now, maybe we can at least increase expenditure to this point here. It's not going to cost us a lot of political capital. Um, and I do think it would address some of the social issues and at least prevent the Conservatives from completely, uh, completely jumping off board. So, yeah, you can see they are not really happy. And that is because we introduced some legislation here that, that really wasn't in their favour. So, yeah, I, I think I think that's, that's going to be okay. Right. Let's take a look at the environment. Um, that's, ooh, yeah. It did went up dramatically due to the fact that the GDP tanked, but it's coming back down as econ economic activity is increasing again. So, yeah. What can we do then to increase the level of, of the environment? Now, air travel is a big issue. Car travel is a big issue. Air travel is still kind of high, so that might be something that we want to address. So, we've got an airline tax over here which is extremely low for the moment. If we were to increase that, what would happen? So air travel would go down, obviously. People wouldn't really like that. Tourism would go down. That's unfortunate, but not a big issue. GDP would be a little bit affected, but not too much. And capitalists wouldn't like it. We would gain some income. And if we were to increase that further, it would cost us a lot of political capital. So. Let's increase it up to this point over here where we are spending sort of a little bit of political capital. Um, and that should reduce air travel, which again is going to decrease um, the impact on the environment.
car usage coming down, but not as fast as I would like to see, honestly. So probably we do need to address transport a little bit more over here. We could introduce fuel efficiency standards. That would drive car usage up because it's more efficient to drive cars now. So not great, not great. CO2 emissions and oil demand would go down, but still not, not great. So I think overall that wouldn't be what we want to do. Concession charging here, nobody really likes that. It's, it's going to drive down car usage, but the question is by how much really. So honestly, probably not the wisest thing to do. Carpooling campaign, all of this is fully funded and all of that is going to have an impact on car usage in the long term, but not in the short term. So I think we do need to be a little bit more aggressive there. Yeah, well, what we could do is bus lanes. Motorists wouldn't like that, commuters would like that, and bus usage would go up. It's a simple fix, but it's not necessarily a bad one. So maybe, just maybe, that is something that we want to do. Hybrid cars, would that drive car usage up? The environment itself would like that a lot, and electric car transition would go up, which is kind of nice. And I do think we can afford it. And everyone likes it, so it's it's a policy that is going to probably increase... Yeah, look at that, the effect on the environment is actually pretty huge. And the number, number of environmentalists is going to go up, so... Even though it does affect car usage, let's, let's go for that. And I think that's fine. Oh, we do need to address the issue here with power lines. Now, angry citizens are protesting against the projects a project to build power lines through their villages. These power lines are necessary to further increase the use of renewable energy sources. Big, big issue um, that, of course, is there in reality. We do need to build these power lines. Um, farmers don't like that. Capitalists actually do. Kind of interesting, uh, but not the worst thing at the moment because capitalists do kind of hate us and that's nice to see. Right, environmental protests are going away. That's semi-good. That's That's good but it does decrease the number of people who care about the environment so mm. um, foreign neighbor does a nuclear test so patriots don't like that and um, patriots will become an issue at some point our credit rating is upgraded again so that's nice business confidence resumes gdp goes up again all in all good even though we don't want to max it out too much um, because otherwise there's going to be an issue there how about health yeah still at very very high levels happy about that Education slowly increasing, unemployment probably going down slowly, yeah, that's fine. Um, crime coming down, poverty probably coming down, yeah, nice, all of that, good. Situation is imminent, cyberbullying, honestly that doesn't look imminent, the trend is just not there, so that's fine. And that's good, yeah, our armed forces really aren't there, so that's not a big surprise. Um, who hates us the most? Trade unionists followed by conservatives. The Patriots still do like us, but it is ticking down, so that's not a big surprise. But what can we do about that? Really, I would like to really, really drive down car usage here. Can't do that for the moment. But it is tempting. Right, the environment. Yeah, we do need to do better. It's actually ticking down a little bit over here. Uh, but we are introducing some, some I think, long-term good effects. So it is it is nice, right? How about co electric car transition? It is coming up, so that's nice. So that will reduce CO2 emissions, which are currently very low at, at least, so at, at about a third from what they used to be. That's nice. Can we get please ri get rid of the antisocial behavior at some point? Just so that conservatives don't hate me quite as much. Yeah, these things are at least coming down. Yeah, this was nearly below the stop trigger here with the respiratory diseases because the environment was doing good there for a moment, but it isn't now, so that's that's unfortunate. Tobacco usage should go down over here because we did introduce, introduce that campaign, but yeah. It's only going to have a relatively small effect here, seven, 7 percentage points, which probably means that the effect on the respiratory disease is not going to be dramatic, so... Eh. That's not good enough. I mean, we do really bring up the environment here. We might also want to increase the tobacco tax. It's an unpopular decision, but it would decrease tobacco usage by, by quite a bit over here. 
and just help everyone a little bit. Again, not the greenest in terms of policies, but I do think it is it is very worthwhile here to do that. So yeah, let's go for that, and I think that's that's fine. Right, hospital overcrowding is coming down, but only ever so slowly. Because healthcare demand is still kind of high. Yeah, but it will probably go away once obesity and, and that goes away. Obesity is ticking down very aggressively now. And that's that's very nice to see. Yeah, but it is really mostly about social change that, that we're doing here. And yeah, I'm, I'm afraid, my friends, the trade unionists, I can't... I just can't make you happy. Just no way how we could do that. Frequent flyer attacks, that would be interesting because it would drive down air, air travel by a, a huge amount. So that would be nice. Anything else we could really do over here? Well, I suppose what we could do... Is actually go either for the boss lanes or the boss subsidies. Motorist, capitalist, unemployment would go down, that's nice. And if we just do public lanes, only the motorists would hate that, but not the capitalists. On the other hand, commuter membership would go up. Okay, let's just do boss lanes. I think that's that's fine. Motorists do not like that. Boss usage, boss usage goes up somewhat. How about the slopes on these things? It's sort of all linear, so... Well, let's, let's simply go for, for that to the max. So, yeah, that should drive up the demand here for buses. So, buses do have an effect on car usage. So, the more buses are being used, the less cars will be used. So, that should be fine. Let's go for one more turn over here and see where things stand. Face recognition. Do we allow that or do we ban that? Well, there's no green answer to that. Um, honestly, so that that's, could go either way. Most green parties, I would think, ban would prefer to ban that. So let's go with that. Liberals are like are liking that technology goes down, but yeah, it's just what we. It's probably the right decision here. Right, GDP ticking up, health ticking up. That's nice. Education, we could do a little bit more on education, I think. Unemployment coming down somewhat. Crime coming down a little bit more here, and poverty going down probably. No, not really, but um, still nice to see. Come on, guys. Yes, antisocial behavior is going to end. And that is very, very nice over here. Uh, because, yeah, I'm, I'm simply going to be happy that the conservatives are going to get a little bit more on board. We do need to win the next election to really um, make a difference here for the environment. So that's nice to see. Um, it does... It will stop to reduce the number of liberalisms. So because um, people aren't so annoyed by vandalism anymore. Uh, that they don't tend to be conservative. So it's doubly good. Conservatives don't hate us as much, and there will be less of them. So that's nice. It's also going to have an impact on crime, which is going to come down further, and that is very lovely to see. Alcohol abuse also coming down. So that's that's really the social change that we do want to see over here. But we do really need to couple that with environmental change, because otherwise, otherwise we're just not doing good enough. So, you know what? Let's, let's try to... Finish that um, around, I think this, yeah, that, that's going to be fine. You know what? Um, we are going to save it here. And next time, we will need to address the economy in some more detail. So looking very much forward to that. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and all of that. And I'll see you again next Friday. Bye-bye, guys.